Howdy and welcome back to the channel. Today is the Maker's Challenge video. It was really hard for me to actually pick a project, but today I figured out what my project's gonna be. We're gonna take the pooping gnome that's behind me there in that glass case. We're gonna take a side profile and we're gonna make an immortalized pooping gnome out of various colored stones. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Here is our art subject. Our little pooping gnome who has no name. Um, but we're going to do a side profile of this gnome out of stone. And what I did, I took a, um, a, a flashlight, a piece of paper, and a camera, and I got a shadowed outline of the gnome. And from there, I traced that picture onto another piece of paper so I get a, a nice detailed uh, outline of the gnome. Because my first idea was to just do a, a simple blank outline of a gnome and just leave it at that but I wanted to kind of outdo myself if I possibly could and I added some detail to that outline so the plan is to find corresponding colors with the shoes pants skin tone shirt the different color of hair and the hat uh, and I think I have most colors an idea of which ones I want to use what I'm going to do, though, I'm going to take an X-Acto blade and I'm going to cut all these pieces out. And I'm, I have plenty of copies of these, so if I mess up, no big deal. But I'm going to take a, a cutout of all these pieces, find the corresponding stones, cut them out, and piece everything about together. So let's go ahead and figure out what stones we want to use for this project. Alrighty. Not so bad pants color. It's like a weird bluish purple so i guess that'd be kind of good for pants so that's probably more than enough than what i need so we got pants for shoes i was actually kind of thinking uh, obsidian it's not that big of a piece um so at this point i'm trying to find a decent piece uh for some shoes um for a cutout go ahead and grab this over here compare it it's actually a nice see-through piece. There's there's no inclusions inside of it. It's the right size. So that'd be a really nice piece for a nice solid color. That's a really nice red. That'd be good for uh maybe I might use it might use it for some of the beard. I think I found the the color for the hair. It's about the right size that I need for the back of the head. Nice piece of petrified wood. So it's brown-ish. Uh, it'll still look good, I think. Yeah, I think that'll look good. Yeah, so we have still to do the main part of the shirt. I think I just might use this piece of... Uh... Actually, you know what? I think I want to mix it up for the shirt. And I figure since he is... Um, pooping in the woods. Or in the middle of nowhere. Maybe we should do... I don't want to say necessarily camouflage. But I think... Something mossy to kind of give it some texture. And I think what I'll do too is um, I'm going to have a couple different parts for the moss agate. So I'll cut out the arm separately from this, from these two parts. And then that way it kind of gives it some depth. And so we'll have this all be moss agate and then have the arm here. Maybe cut it so that, or shape it so it's. The same slab, but it's a different part of the slab, so it'll kind of stick out a little bit. I kind of don't want to use these ones. I use, I'd use these for some knife handles a long time ago, and I'd like to be able to use these for another set of knife handles if that time arises. But I do have some more slabs out back. I think I found one I want to use. I think for the shirt, we'll go for this moss agate right here. Be kind of interesting and, and uh, unique. Kind of break up the, the black seam. So we're gonna have black shoes and black shirt. We'll, we'll go with uh, black shoes and a camel shirt because he doesn't have a camel shirt. I think we have our hat. Use this corner of this petrified wood. Actually, that might be a cool belt color. And Rub Ruby's oyster is actually pretty cool. So I actually might use the belt for this color instead. 
Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do before we even start cutting rock, we're gonna cut out this gnome from this piece of paper here and make templates.
So how to do some problem solving. Um, a lot of the pieces that I was working on uh, that didn't have a really good straight edge. So I went out a, and bought myself a drill press, finally. Um, and um, it actually worked pretty well. I just drilled a hole uh, partially into this piece of wood, poured some water in there. I'll have to pour some more in there. And then um, I worked this a little bit more on, to get a better straight edge. And then now it will fit better into here. I have a little bit more working to do, but there's not as much of a gap anymore than there was. It, the, the gap was pretty bad, but this is a lot better now. So I'm glad I got that figured out and now we can keep moving. Okay, we are now in the 11th hour. It is Saturday, March 20th, uh, just past 10.30. Tonight we're going to be finishing up all the big stuff for this project with Sunday being glue and cleanup. So I'm gonna flip around here to kind of let you know what we're gonna be doing uh, tonight. tonight. We are going to be cutting out an arm in order to have a 3D arm for his body. And we're going to shape his hand here to fit with the arm. Um, and then, see this part's already done. We're not gonna do a full polish on everything. It's gonna, this is meant to be a contrast piece. Uh, initially, I had meant to make it a full polish, but I decided against that and this is more art. So. Tonight we're gonna you now do do all that and then we're also gonna clean up the edges here on all these pieces uh, Sand everything down and then also make sure that the pants meet up with um, the bottom part here fairly well And then also make sure the body fits with the hair and beard And then once we're done with that we'll make sure that it'll be ready for tomorrow for gluing Which is going to be a process of sitting and waiting because what I'll be using is right here is a two-part epoxy. There have no been no accidents. <laughs> So it is March 21st now. I stayed up until 2 a.m. and I spent time on my drill press. I spent time on my Genie and a little bit of time on the blue machine here and also on the Fordham to kind of get things cleaned up and to make sure that everything's gonna fit uh, pretty well. And then I taped everything off in the, at least on the top part. And then this morning when I woke up, I taped the bottom part here. And then I took a break from that I went to Michael's, I bought a silicone mat here, so I don't have to keep using all my blue tape because the blue tape is also expensive. Um, so I'm going to use some rubbing alcohol. I'm gonna clean off all the edges and to remove any uh, oil from my hands. Um, and then also to remove uh, any dust left over from the machines. And that way the glue has a chance to actually adhere properly.
Okay, Gnome is done, but before we go any further, so don't fast forward, don't click away, don't stop. We have a thank you. The thank you goes to Theo for getting this whole thing organized. This was not an easy task. I mean, you're contacting 13 other YouTube channels in order to get this whole thing rolling. And I'm super glad that you did. I learned um, new stuff. I've never done this type of project before. And it really was a challenge, but in the best possible way. The second thank you goes to Jared over there at Kearney Rock Hounding. <laughs> Who, after we found out about this challenge, he messaged me. He's like, if you don't do a gnome and a stone for the Maker's Challenge, I will be disappointed. And I am glad that he had that suggestion. Because I... A while ago, I thought, yeah, it'd be kind of cool to make like a side profile like of a gnome and just have it in the background somewhere. But after he said that, it just kind of confirmed that. And uh, the idea pretty much snowballed because I could have just had a simple. I could just did the simple cutout and be done with it. But I really wanted to have something that was unique, something that was cool, something that would push my limits and my skills. And that's exactly what I did, and the outcome was phenomenal. So again, thank you, Jared, for that suggestion. Um, otherwise, you guys probably would have gotten a knife video, something similar to these knives up back back here, or a pendant video. But this was even better. So thank you guys for allowing me to challenge myself and learn something new. One quick disclaimer before we show the piece. It is not fully polished, and I did that for no reason in particular. It's just I had a gut feeling to not polish it while I was working it, and so that's what I didn't do for no particular good reason, aside from just a gut feeling. Um, but beyond that, between the textures, the colors of the slabs, the different heights of the slabs, this piece still has a lot of color and character and depth, and that's really all that matters. It's art, and it's awesome, in my opinion. So... Let me know what you think, and let's go ahead and check out what I did. That's going to conclude my video for the Makers Challenge. Be sure to check out the other channels and their projects and let them know how they did. Encourage them, thank them, and like their art because this was one awesome idea. Thank you again, Theo, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Rock on.